compressed air energy storage. This brief animation is an overview of a concept for energy storage in the form of compressed air. This diagram represents a typical case configuration plant with all necessary components. First let's take a look at the charging process. During the periods of low power demand, the surplus electricity drives a reversible motor generator unit to run a chain of compressors for injecting air into a storage vessel. For large-scale systems, a high-capacity underground salt cavern is used. The energy is stored in the form of high-pressure air, with the pressure typically 40 to 80 bar. For small-scale systems an overground air tank can be used. The compression process normally uses intercoolers and aftercoolers to reduce the working temperature of the injected air, thus improving the compression efficiency and minimizing thermal stress on the system component walls. The pressure of compressed hair in overground tank is up to 300 bar. Now let's take a look at the discharging process. When the power generation cannot meet the load demand, the stored compressed air is released and heated by a heat source, which can be the heat generated from the combustion of fossil fuel, or the heat recovered from the compression process. The compressed air energy is finally captured by the turbines. The waste heat from the system exhaust can be recycled by a recuperator unit. The same process takes place in the case of overground air tank discharge. The high price electricity generated can be sold to the grid. For more information about the Images project please go to the website, integratedenergystorage.org. Thank you for watching.